riding stars and living legends too. It's a life on time and full of surprises. It's a place to get your 15 fame. I'll tell you. Hi, Marlo. How have you been? Good. How are you? Good. You're glittery as always. It keeps my heart to see you in your lips. Because after my um, little trip to Love, Lust, or Run, I was I was told never to wear glitter anymore. And I just was like, I can't do that. Yeah. It, That's a sacral. Isn't it? I know. That, I'll, 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 I, I had to say that I was addicted to glitter, which I am. And I'm proud to I love glitter, and that's why I love every time you come because it just warms my glitter heart. That that you are addicted to it as much as I am. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. I mean, come on. How serious to be all the time, right? Serious about Oh, I like that. I like that. So today, February eighteenth is actually when I say the date, it makes me remember first time that we broadcasted a show called Ruby's World, and it was a little different than you know? It wasn't at Otto's. It was on at Arisma Entertainment, and this was the day that it all began on February 18th, and it morphed into Ruin Who. Lucky for all of us, but it did start on air up there on a February 18th on a Wednesday. So, That's the anniversary! Yeah, it's crazy, right? <clears throat> yeah. If that's what it is, right? So, so we're here, and um, it is National Drink Wine Day. So, <laughs> wine here for our guests to share their skills. But it's also National Crab Stuffed Flounder Day. So we have little, little flounders for everyone. Who doesn't want the wine? Or you can dip your fish into the wine and have it like that. That's, that's if you um, have a skeleton. Yes, if you have a skeleton in your closet. No, when do you tell us? Oh. Do you have a skeleton today? Oh, let's let's hear, Marla. What's your skeleton? Oh, I have to tell you, I had a um, first implants. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> So now you can be in competition with did, oh. did you see she had like a cleavage contest or something? Oh. Yeah, I think she got new ones. Yeah, but she's real skinny. She needs a real load. Oh. No, well, you know. I don't know. Paris, it must be really hard to be Paris Hilton. Yeah, she turned out um, Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh. Wow, isn't she flamboyant? Well, she can be. So is that your skeleton? Did you even have breast implants? I thought I just why didn't think so. Okay, so do you want a fish for that? Oh, can I get a fish? Yeah, oh, you can have a fish. You're our who for the day. Of course, you can have a fish. So, um, what else happened on this day in history? Coca-Cola company announces plans to reduce costs by one billion dollars in the next few years in an effort to counteract slowing demand. One year ago today, can you imagine Coke is going down? Who who would have thought that? The billion dollar budget they're cutting in. They were in a race to beat out Pepsi. Can you imagine? There, they're like, oh, can't take it. Could you imagine put more Coke in the Coke and then they'll get back on top again, you know? I don't know, but like, I can't believe a billion and then I just heard that the, that that Fifty Shades of Grey made two hundred and fifty million quarter of a billion dollars the first weekend it opened. Because it's Shades of Grey, just oh. like you, Marlo. Uh -huh. You know uh, Dakota Johnson. Yeah. You know who she is. Yes, everyone knows who she is. Um, she's the daughter of Will. Yeah. Yeah. Don Johnson. And uh, I wrote music with them. Oh, really? Well, he was really. No, no. Miami. Miami. Yeah, before it is Miami Day. Really? Yeah, wow. Wow. So did he, did he have to go to yet? No. Oh, no. 
No. This Actually, is... he was going with uh, Pamela Navaris at the time. Oh, who wow. Who was Pamela Miller at the time. Yeah. And um, Melanie stole him away from him. Wow. And she that's... was only 16. Melanie's mother was That's Tippi where the skeleton comes in. Yes, exactly. And Doc Johnson was in The Birds with Tippi Hedren. Amazing. Yeah, it's one big circle of Tippi was shapes. very uh, yeah. lenient with her. You know, yeah. yeah. We went to parties. We went crazy parties. Wow. Little girl was right there. Now, yeah. And now their little girl is right there. Yeah. Exactly. That, Just my time. That, that movie is cleaning up. Uh, she was on Letterman last night, Dakota, and um, she was like, I guess this movie I'm in doesn't make dollars. I'll just click. Well, I guess you can hang up at she that can, time. If you yeah, she doesn't have to work <laughs> yeah. again. Exactly. This was like a, a deal for this girl. All right. At Belgium's Brussels Airport. Armed robbers steal an untraceable raw diamonds worth fifty million dollars and without alarming passengers and got away. Can you imagine? Yep, here it is. God, why can't we do that? <laughs> Nestle's removes its beef pasta meals from supermarkets in France, Spain, and Italy after tests confirm the food. Contaminated with horse meat. <laughs> so those groups are true. Don't they always say that like it's horse meat in these things? And like, it really is. Yeah, but. Busted though, they got caught. The diamond guy gets away with $50 million worth of diamonds, and then Ness got busted with horse meat. Yeah, that's pasta. Disgusting. It's terrible. But I mean, that's beef is good. I know. I don't want to eat it. But. No, I wouldn't want to say that to no. Well, you know, the cow is just the same thing, though. You grew up knowing cows are food. I don't know. It's all kind of. Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee got married on this day in '95. '95. This is 2015, so a big anniversary if they. Were. <laughs> but are they together? Because like it seems like they're together. They're yeah, apart. They always get together. And they have swap. kids. Also on YouTube, you that video that um, like the Kim Kardashian video. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was, uh, theirs was first, right? Yeah. Steve Garvey, you know who he is? He married Candace Thomas while at the same time being accused of fathering children by two other women. <laughs> Figure, can you imagine? Yeah. The same day, he was like accused. Two other women. It sounds kind of like Bill Cosby. Uh, Bill, Billy, <laughs> oh, that Bill Cosby. Oh my God, it gets worse every day. Every day, another woman comes forward. Cosby? Yeah, he's drooling all over. He drugged them. Come on. He thinks he's sexy. Well, that's not a happy man. Billy Wyman, we all know, said he will leave the Rolling Stones in 1983 on this day. We all know what happened there. Did he leave them? No. I think they had him stuck and he was just like <laughs> on automatic or something. <laughs> no, he's Exactly. The Roots Next Generation premiered on this day. Who remembers Quinta Kente? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, snow falls in the Sahara Desert on this day in 1979. Oh. February 18th. Oh my God. Wow. But does it snow in the desert? I mean in the desert. So, I mean, I don't know why that's a big deal. It's that's like a cold day in hell. <laughs> exactly. <Jeez. laughs> George Harrison releases True Love. Do you remember that song? Do you? You do? Wow. John and Yoko end a week co-hosting the Mike Douglas show on this day. Were um, they naked? Probably. No, I don't know if they did it maybe in the bed, but... The British adopt a year-round daylight savings time on the That's why our clock for in one of those time zones, it's, it changes. We're like one hour. It's like five hours and then four hours or something like that. Like, cause they just stay on daylight savings. It's much smarter. David Gilmore joins the rock group Pink Floyd on this day. That's cool. Yeah. Frank Gifford announces his retirement from football on this day. But, um, Frank, 
Kathy Lee's husband. Oh, okay. yeah. I was in a fog. Yeah, Kathy Lee and Frank Gifford both have the same birthday because I know that because it's my mom's birthday and it's Madonna's birthday. They all have the same birthday. Oh my God. Yeah. That's cosmic. No. Buona Devil, the first 3D movie opened in New York in 1953. People are making such a big deal about 3D movies. It's been around a long time. Yeah. Three college of New York basketball players admit to accepting bribes on this day. Okay. They don't do that stuff anymore. I know. What are they getting bribed to do? Probably, uh, I don't know, maybe the game. What do you think? I can't figure that out. The Hunchback of Notre Dame premiered in Monte Carlo on this day. Um, what else happened? Henry Tudor created the Prince of Wales, later named Henry VIII. Instead, he was the original Prince of Wales. Henry. I am. <laughs> Birth. Henry VIII. I am. I am. Right. Well, he was not too nice to the ladies or uh, ladies. Birthdays. It's Molly Ringwald today. today. <laughs> Molly Ringwald. Yes. <laughs> yeah, her. Dr. Dre's birthday is today. Matt Dillon. Oh, Matt Dillon. <laughs> Vanna White. It's her birthday today. She doesn't age. She looks great. She looks great. I love Vanna White. Yeah. John Travolta's birthday is today. Yeah. Yeah. You look a little bit like John Travolta in Saturday Night Fever. Kind of. Did you like that movie? Yeah, I watched it over and over. <laughs> I can tell you all the words. Do you? Dance steps. <laughs> uh, Shepard's birthday is today. Juice Newton, do you know who she is? Mm -hmm. She won a dance with girls. <laughs> no, she was a singer. Carolyn Maloney, she, she's the uh, The vocalist from The Sticks. Do you remember The Sticks? Dennis D. Young. His birthday is today. Why Do Fools Fall in Love? Herb Santiago, vocalist from Frankie Lyman and the Teenagers. <clears throat> I did too, but it says that, um, it says Herb Santiago. Maybe he sang backup. Or maybe he sang Milo's back. Foreman, the director of One Flew Over the Nest in Amadeus, his birthday. My daughter was in school with his granddaughter. She was pretty talented. Harrison's birthday. Kennedy, you remember him from um, Airplane? He was in Airplane, I think. Hell, Curly Brown, the lady that said you can never be too rich or too thin. Fuck you, Helen Curly Brown. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What you too what? You can never be too rich or too thin. Yeah, what do you think? She was fantasizing real heavy. She was skinny. Eddie Arnold, but not the same Eddie Arnold. This was another one. Mr. Smith goes to Washington. I don't know. And Mary Tudor, Bloody Mary, it's her birthday. And Yoko Ono, it's her birthday today. Oh, no. That's what they say. <laughs> yeah, a lot of birthdays. Angels, people passed away. Johnny Paycheck, he wrote the best song ever, Take This Job and Shove It. Now, he is an angel with us today. I love that song. Uh, Dale Earnhardt passed away on this day. Robert Merrill, the songwriter of Funny Girl, committed suicide at 76. Isn't that crazy? He writes Funny Girl, but it makes so much sense to me that someone would write something happy but be so sad. No? Does that make sense to you? I can't see why somebody would bother living 79 years 70, and jump off the lake. 70, Close enough. I know. I don't know. Who knows, right? And Robert Oppenheimer is an angel. He is the comic bomb. How dare he? Devastating. Wait, we have one. And that's pretty much for this. Are you ready to talk to some people? Yeah. All right. We'll be right back. Yeah. Real. Real. Uh-huh. Eyes of Rue, keeping it real, keeping it blue. And who? What's that you say? 